I'm pleading that the American people be given the facts you about foreign policy. You know, that the American people cannot formulate Why and execute foreign policy. And I am continuing, and I am increasing the search for every possible path to peace. This is what the war in Vietnam is all about. We maintain our strength in order to deter and defend against aggression, to preserve freedom and peace. Our desire for peace. The United States wants peace. We seek peace. We strive for peace. We expect every American to support our military, and if they can't do that, to shut up. Well, Colonel, it's a great way to go to war. Short of a bullet to the back of his head or he, he leaves the country, uh, war is inexorable. War is inevitable, and it is approaching inexorably. Right. You know, let's not just stop I, at a couple of cruise missiles. <laughs> we'll <laughs> pound them with 2,000-pound bombs and then go 2, in. 2,000-pound bombs in urban areas? Oh, sure. We have a number of correspondents in bed with our troops. Very deeply embedded in a personal way with sources that have deceived us so constantly don't deserve our trust. Hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin. The destroyer was carrying out a, a mission of patrol in those waters, in international waters. Weapons of mass destruction. Uranium from Africa. Cyber attacks. Nuclear program. Biological weapons. Rack has weapons of mass destruction. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> I'll leave so long as I'm the president. That would be a huge mistake. If this little nation goes down the drain and can't maintain her independence, ask yourself what's going to happen to all the other little nations. It would not bring peace. It would bring more war.